In the previous chapter, we have talked about how to build and deploy your software systems in a secure manner. This chapter focuses on verification. This is what people typically associate security with. So think of security testing, denial of service type stress testing, penetration testing, all the various security testing tools and so on. By the way, I often get the question regarding the ordering of SAM's practices. The fact that verification is the fourth business function doesn't mean at all that this is something that comes after secure deploy. The ordering of the business functions and security practices in SAM is a structural consideration. So there is no timelining in this structure. The timeline is up to you to decide and naturally penetration testing and security testing is something that probably should come either before the build or within the build. Still, quite some security tools could be operating once the system is in production by checking for new vulnerabilities that are appearing and being reported to CV, for instance, checking the logs for something suspicious and so on. This business function deals with the question, did we do the right things right? The first security practice is a more, a more high level exercise that is related to threat modeling. Architecture assessment deals with taking a look at application architectures to confirm that what is implemented does in fact contain the required security protections. Requirements-driven testing focuses on the custom use cases. It is about building in testing at all levels, both automated and manual. And it is about doing so all the way from unit tests to full regression test suites. Amongst other things, this practice will help us detect when a security feature is mistakenly or intentionally disabled. Security testing, the last practice, focuses on the more general security requirement. It deals with, for instance, the set of tools that we're going to launch across our fleet of applications. These tools are performing more general testing functions, most of which are automated. In this practice, we also deal with penetration testing. 